And I really look at that time, it was a short contract, it was really only a couple of months, but that time as the foundation or bedrock of any kind of process that I have as an actor really started there with Brian and Neil. The Theatre Curation Project was born in the spirit of stewardship over the art, craft, and history of the theatre. Its purpose is to curate these stories of our mentors and what they passed on to us to be a resource for future generations. Its goal is to preserve these stories and the lessons within them from being lost forever. Neil Bartram and Brian Hill are remarkable artists and mentors. I first met them when they were the artistic directors of the Charlottetown Festival Young Company, and they brought me down for the summer in the year, I'm not going to tell you, and it was a performance and training program. So they wrote a show for the Young Company called Somewhere in the World. It was a beautiful show. And um, we rehearsed it and put it up and opened it, and we would perform it every day at noon. But then the training um, in the program began. They created a curriculum that utilized the Charlottetown Festival main stage company and we would do workshops and uh, and classes with them in the morning and the afternoon and uh, and then perform this show at noon. And I really look at that time, it was a short contract, it was really only a couple of months, but that time as the foundation or bedrock of any kind of process that I have as an actor really started there with Brian and Neil. I had never heard this notion before of the secret to any success really in this industry starts at the intersection of opportunity uh, and preparation. As actors, we don't have a lot of agency. There are so many decisions that are out of our hands. So when you get an opportunity, it is your duty to prepare that audition within an inch of its life. I remember them saying that distinctly. Your sides, your monologues, your songs, and envision yourself in the room and all the scenarios that could possibly happen in that room. And when you go into the room, don't just turn it on, your swagger, your sweetness, your kindness, uh, and then turn it off the second you leave the room and tell the person who's working the door to go fly a kite. Um, that person who's running the door could very well be uh, the director's mother. That's happened. We've heard this story. Be kind in the world. <laughs> Be good, do good. It will only come back at you uh, tenfold. Uh, professionally, yes, but in life. Uh, it was such a holistic approach to this industry that I cling to to this day. They're also, you know, by the way, Brian is a uh, an accomplished director and Neil an accomplished music director. And oh, by the way, they're also award-winning actors. They're also married in life. They're a, they're a couple in real life. And I had never seen a couple in the industry before. I had no touchstone for that. They say you're not supposed to date another actor, it's a disaster. And here they were making it work with such generosity and kindness. They were they were champions of one another and it was really quite inspiring. They have focused primarily now on being a musical theater writing team. Brian writes the book, Neil writes music and lyrics, uh, and their works are uh, performed all around the world. But they still have a vested interest in fostering young talent. Uh, which I find so amazing. They've written material and shows for young people so that kids in university and college in these musical theater programs don't have to play a 40 or 50 year old. You don't have to play Tevia uh, when you're 18 or 19. You can actually do a show with characters that meet you where you are. What a gift as a young actor. They take their plays that they're workshopping that aren't necessarily uh, young uh, performer uh, centered, but they will workshop them at these universities and, and colleges. They value what these young people have to say. I've seen it firsthand. They want to know what you think about what they're working on. Um, and it's empowering as a young person. Their generosity and kindness and talent and respect was life changing for me. So, Neil Bartram. And Brian Hill, thank you so much.